What's up, what's up? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Young. I'm Keith. I'm Curtis. I'm Zach. I'm Virginia Zamaki. Beef and broccoli. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all back. Uh, today we're jumping into Charlie Zhongsha. Sh- Let me see. Charlie. Wow. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie Zhao Shin. Charlie Zhao Shin. Mm-hmm. This is me. This is a, a special Patreon request from Elizabeth M. Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, shout out to you, man. You know why. I'll just why? leave it like that. This is, this is a real one. Uh, I'm going through some hard times. We love you to death. We pray for you. Love you, Liz. Absolutely. Let's jump into this. You keep Charles at the job. You want to get this? I'm sitting what is the mic. Baby, yeah, don't hurt me. This is me. That's how you should have a bush for your dinner. Put you up. You will make a comedy. She needs to eat a wood cheap. Or make it down your lap. You gotta let the audience know what you're doing. That shit was like, <laughs> was like <laughs> real quick. <laughs> yeah, quick People already hit me up like, it's not okay. <laughs> okay, his voice is crazy. I like this, real breathy. We don't want your broken hearts. I'm not a bit of shit before my skull. I can imagine the high notes and shit this dude will be hitting.
是第二次来到最美的夜晚会了。嗯、对对对，是吧？之前的采访，夜夜 weekend weekend 的经历有什么不同的印象？对于 ，we can bring it back. Um, a, a little bit of backstory too. Um, Elizabeth was saying that during uh like high school or middle school, um, I guess like his voice never cracked. So um, basically like he's had this like the same voice his entire Pretty life. Yeah, but he was getting bullied all throughout school. Um, so it's just kind of ironic now, like his voice is right. killing shit and doing everything versus when he was getting you know bullied and everything. That's amazing. Um, so that was kind of the backstory I got to it. There's a man. Th this reminded me of this man. I forgot his name. He's classified as a like a um, he can hit women's notes or his voice goes as high as one. I forgot his name. Oh, Sam Smith. No, Future Nick. it's like a it's, it's, it's a guy that like pretty much is like not famous probably to us, but I think he's famous in like singer circles or some shit like that. Russian dude? No, he's he's from like Cleveland. He's from the middle of the U.S. Now there's some like tall skinny Russian dude that does all these weird songs and makes his tongue like, um, I fuck, I play him for you, but like it's really where he gets the craziest notes. He looks like the dude from the Fifth Element, actually. I know, like, it's, I know it's, what you mean though. Like voices literally can be classified with uh, women's voice. That's how high it is, or whatever, like that. Because his voice never developed, uh, whatever like that. So it's I like that though from from male singers. Not everybody, but I do like I like unique voices in general. I think it was like people like Jimmy. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Hanchan. Yeah, Hanchan. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah, those are two favorites. Those are my two so. biases. They kind of let you yeah, already know. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> had that had that flair to the voice. Um, Mike had it mm -hmm. for the most part, but his he did grow a little timber and grow some like. Into his voice, kind of like, and a lot of his runs bass. was bassy. He he, he yeah. wanted to learn how to be bassy when he wanted to. Do, <laughs> I wouldn't say bassy. I would say no, like that, tenor, that, lower tenor. I know that shit. Uh, wanted, <laughs> I, I, they're probably making a shit. I was making a studio shake a little bit. <laughs> nah, but but I fuck with this joint a lot. Uh, me and Keith were saying this joint kind of felt like the uh, like a, a Pixar song or yeah. kind of like the end of the movie. That's what me and Sean said. We said it would remind us like a. Um, what movie was damn? I don't forgot the movie already, but like a, it was a Disney movie, like a Let It Go Moana. type, a Frozen type joint or something, or uh, like they uh, saved, Moana they or some shit. Their people or something. Kind of, That's every Avatar. Movie. <laughs> it was like Avatar too. That was that was a good one. But well, more so, I got the gist of like you know somebody just found out like he had powers or you know or maybe he's different than the rest of like the clan and then he's like this is me. <laughs> You're like the outcast, but then yeah, you like actually the chosen one, and then it was just like yeah, no, this is just this like is Brother Bear. Like, um, like Happy Feet vibe. 4 or something. Yeah. Like, like this is me. Somewhere, like, it's a real fucking <laughs> story, yeah. bro. Yeah. But no, uh, shout, shout out to Charlie, man. Cause, uh, damn. Amazing vocal control, all those inflections and everything like that. He had, he had that perfectly. It was a pretty beautiful voice. And I, if this song is available for download, I'll download it. So I was already looking for it. That's why she's on her phone. I will say that too. So far, most of the times when people give us kind of these bigger songs to listen to, some of them, I guess some of the gripe with them, if it was like, if we're nitpicking, was that some of them weren't kind of built like songs. They were kind of more just to it's showcase. Thing. Yeah, this sounds like this, this sound like this kind of a slap in the wood. <laughs> you need to pick me up in the morning. Yeah, like, this is building. me. This is me. It was giving me, I'm so standing. Like. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like. Uh, yeah, then that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no. with a Millie rocket to the shit. <laughs> this was beautiful. Um, I like this so much. Uh, I definitely love songs like this when it just feels like it's empowering you at your, you know, um, weakest moments. This just comes on. It's like you're going through a heartbreak, and it's like, this is me. Like, you mean that heartbreak? Until <laughs> so the song go there. off, and then it's still there. But no, I like this a lot. This is our first time listening to him. Huh? This is our first time listening to this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I like this. This is a download for me. I like this. I like the live band the most out of this. Mm. I like how he let the band get the little run in. I like the fire too. Like the whole energy behind this. You felt the song. I saw you looking up his bio and stuff too. Get a little information on Charlie Charles. Yeah. That band, though. The man. What is that drum? Uh, <coughs> not the hand drum. The one with the big uh, pause. Never mind. The big what? The bass? 
Nothing. Yeah, it's called a bass drum, right? It, it's not. Mm-hmm. It, it's a bass drum, but it's not called a bass. Okay. Drum. Yeah. That's what I thought you were talking about. The joint. You're not talking about the kick. You're talking about the not one the that sounds joint. tribal, right? Yeah. yeah the doom, that the, doom, doom, the doom, tribal doom, joint. Doom, yeah, that doom. one. Oh, okay, wanna, okay, okay. I, I forgot what that's I called. Say well, what, I don't know what it's called. I'm not going to say I forgot what it's called. Am I wrong? Yes, you are. Somebody wrong as fuck. It's not a tuba. Wrong is wrong, playboy. You don't know shit, Nick. But this song was very beautiful. And something you definitely can hear at the end of a Pixar movie, like you said. Uh, it may be a download for me. Maybe. I could smoke to this, though. This I can't Clearly. smoke to. They yeah. were like, who found this weed? Cheyenne is like, this, this is, is me. me. This is me. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> it's a lot of different ones, so. It's not no particular one. It's just uh, probably the talking drum is one of the more popular. Like, we get in the rotation. So like, this joint hit. They were like, this is me. What'd you think, Keith? Um, are you looking for it? Yeah. What an idiot. Kurt Savis keeps looking for it. Not really cool. Nah, I thought this was this was really cool. I love uh, the whole message behind it. I love you know the elements of the lyricism and kind of how the first verse was a lot of. Uh, kind of almost like the somberness of like whatever you're going through as far as like you know the ashamed of your scars and things of that nature things that are you know out of your control that you're being judged for um and then kind of the the second verse more so uh along with the hook kind of raising those spirits and kind of bringing you through that process uh and coming to a place of acceptance uh so i thought i thought all that was really well the storytelling behind it was great definitely love the lyricism and the elements of like you know um the sharp words that they come through off flood out um you know drown them out basically with a flood a, a cleansing kind of um atmosphere with it but um no i definitely loved all this the the voice inflections and everything is low head set and everything the high the crazy high notes that he was able to hit um so beautifully so effortlessly it seemed that's definitely um i would say the biggest takeaway for me just you know the power and emotion behind um the voice I loved all the stage production elements as well as, you know, you get the um, the pyrotechnics involved. I loved the, the live orchestra that they had, whether it was the drums. I loved that they gave uh, the little solo moments towards the bridge, like uh, with the flute and everything like that. I thought that was a really great part as well. Um, definitely that bass as well as, uh, you know, as Zach had said too. Um, now, all in all, this, this was really solid. And just in general, I always love um, just those kind of stories where, you know, something is used to used as like a flaw against you and you turn it into like your sword kind of um like you know you hear about like um like even like arnold schwarzenegger and things like that like having uh, a voice that like you had to go through and train to like sound more normal but then in so doing it kind of becomes your trademark and something that uh you're unique for at the end of the day so i definitely find the story behind all that as well um very powerful and yeah this is definitely a song that sounds like it could be at the end of like a, a pixar or a disney movie or something like that very universal great themes um nah, this this was really great ironically and i know it's not um but i don't think it is this one is pride month two i also thought of the holland song I'm not afraid, mm-hmm. but this seems like a more operatic, you know, big version you, of that. You know, it's if very, you look at the lyrics, I'm I'm not afraid to be no, seen. No, no, you know, what's, what, what's funny about that is that Elizabeth is the one that requested, I'm, I'm not afraid, and she requested this as well. Well, look okay. at that. Okay. I also like when songs <laughs> are kind of... Re- if you look at the lyrics, you just kind of see it and everything like that. Uh, another you, round of bullets hit me. I'm not afraid to be seen. I'm, ba- I'm. This yeah. is me. I'm bruised. You know. I lo- also love that it's general enough to where anyone could yeah, shout out to you, Liz. Read into it, as yeah, with whatever they will, but in a way that it would still resonate with so many different groups of people. Exactly. To kind of be able to take away that same, you know, the heart mm, of that I message. Imagine. Yeah, like I said, I'm not implying anything, y'all. I'm just saying that's a. Yeah, that was a that's, takeaway from that's a that's a cool thing. reading. You know, something if you read the lyrics, it kind of ap- applies just to that. Also, I think they've co-opted those type of songs. Yeah, those, like, coming out and this is me. I'm kind of like yeah. it's kind of like. I was about to say sometimes, brand. sometimes too. Like you said, not unfortunately, but like you, it's almost where your mind goes when you hear some of these lyrics and everything now. Because mm-hmm. um, being a pariah or being like a the dark sheep or whatever An it could enigma. be. Yeah, it could be anything. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean. So it's just that's just kind of one of those. Things nowadays that's associated with everything. So mm-hmm. I, I get what the you're ugly saying. duck, yeah. To some people, the green grape turns into a swan. 
Um, <laughs> Sharpest pencil in the box. What? Nah, but that's that's wild that you brought that up and uh, like she literally did both requests and stuff like that. You know, I could be cerebral at times when I choose to. Nah, but this is real dope. Y'all um, had anything else you want to add? Yeah, um, so the drum, well, there are a lot of different names. Can you believe it or not, some of them just say Big Drum. <laughs> Who would have knew? Um, but Pan- a big drum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Pansori uh, was one of them. Uh, the, the Tanku drum is the another talking one. Talking drum. Um, yes, uh, that's also one. But I think that I think it varies from um, culture to culture. Mm-hmm. So, like, it might be the talking drum, like, for Africa or Native Americans because they use it to communicate the from village like to village. Certain parts of Africa, he means. It could be like that for I mean, well, I mean, I, yeah, I guess we do kind of have to put that because I was yeah. going to say, if you don't know that, that's kind of common sense. But common sense ain't common. I don't know why they call it that. But anyway, um, no, but uh, I thought the song was uh, good. Um, his... So record execs don't like to sign people before they hit a certain age because they don't want their voice to change and then they can no longer market the artist as the way they were or the way they sounded. That was the big thing with Soul For Real. They wanted to get as much songs out before the lead singer, who was the younger brother, his voice changed. Same thing with the Jackson 5, only it worked out rather well. like 2000, 2014. But yeah. Um, like, you got 3 million followers? Your son... <laughs> You know, but, well, that, that's true now, too. But uh, just because execs, when it was more on them mm-hmm. than the artists to, you know, package them and everything else, um, they didn't necessarily want to sign you before you hit puberty because they had no idea what you would sound like once your voice changed. But um, that's not that's not his case. That's like this is the total opposite of his case. Like his voice never changed. Um, and it makes for a great sound. And it, it's it definitely does have the, the Disney feel to it. Like at any moment, like he's going to come jumping off a cliff and dive into a waterfall or something like on Pocahontas or some shit or, or run through a, a, a Serengeti like Simba and the Lion King or something. You know what I mean? It just, it just has that crescendo type vibe to it. Like Definitely. this is the realization of who I am. Now it's time to like take care of whatever villain or this is the culmination of whatever. Um, Definitely a, a good John. I would like to hear more from him. This song was definitely short. I felt like maybe we could have got more at the end of it, but he just kind of backed off the gas a little bit. One thing I um, just realized, but I would definitely like to hear it. I was surprised it was in full English. Yeah, I did not expect that at all. You know, even with with the subtitles and everything, I, um, and with the title of this this video, I just didn't expect it to be in English. Especially so with the title of the, the video, end, I was like, oh, like. That's, I think that's interesting because I would have loved to hear how this sound is in his native language if it's better, but his English sounds perfect. So, you know, I don't know. So y- you would know because even playing around, like singing English and then singing other Spanish, languages, Korean, yeah. your voice sounds different. So, like, I know people who can sing the fuck out of a Spanish song. They can't sing English. It's, those Ni different, como el. it's just the it's, breathing um, and the it's breathing and different. Yeah. Um, Yes, um, Nietzsche. Why is the, the way you hold the me? note and um, okay. bravado and, and different um, rhythms, pronunciations, pronunciations, yeah. exactly. The pronunciations for different words in different languages. So it's like bold you say better, somebody's name, like keys. a Korean name in American, you'd be like Kwon Ji Young. But it's Kwon Ji Young. Mm-hmm. Like that. It's kind of put that in but there. even so, I might sound better saying like Kwon Ji Young than I do singing like I'm crossing the street. That's why like, I got the fucking accent. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> nah, but like I get what I'm saying all this shit. Like sometimes it's easier and different like pronunciations to like get your shit off. <laughs> you made it sound like a, a sagua. <laughs> yeah, like comment, um, subscribe. <laughs> Liz, love you. Hope you have a, a, a great week. Yeah, Kurt, you was good too. Oh yeah, we cool. Yeah, Liz, we love you to death. Yeah, um, love I guess y'all. I'm going to pray Take for you care. and your folks and stuff like that. I'm not going to put your business out there, but we love you here. Anybody else, if y'all going through anything, reach out to us. We praying for y'all, too. We yeah, love we everybody. I'll let y'all. This is us. That is you. Take care.